All right, Arca time. We are at Indianapolis, which means I'm going to be terrible. Uh, we're the number two, which means we're going to lose a lot of I rating. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe this is going to be a weak enough field. Um, got Bob in here. He is the number nine. We're not going to be able to see his normal paint scheme since we're doing this whole realistic paint scheme numbers, but he'll be in this one. And do we know anybody else? Not seeing any names that stand out to me, so. Um, yeah, today's paint scheme, we are the number two. So, yeah, I've won here in the 87s when the high line was just stupid and you could protect like crazy and I never pit and no one could get around me. Uh, Arca, though, underpowered car that requires you to hit a decent line over and over and over and not screw it up, never good. So, we got some crappy weather, it's overcast, a few breaks in the clouds to have the sun pop out once in a while. Got a pretty big uh, tailwind, it looks like, down the front stretch. So that's going to make turn one a little sketchy. And uh, you're going to be able to really throw it into turn three with the headwind. I don't think I've ever ran here with a tailwind down the front stretch. Normally it's a crosswind. I know Gavin's was across as well, but first time that Arca has been to the new Indianapolis, so we've got the NASCAR, the Brickyard, Indianapolis layout, which just is the pit starting earlier than the open wheel. Green, green, green. Okay. Let's see if I can actually get in. A decent time here. Probably not, because I've gotten three laps of practice. Good news was I was faster than a lot of people in that practice, but bad news was I think there was a whole bunch of 600 I rated people in that. So we've already killed this lap with the big push off of one. Now we know, even though I told myself that there was a massive tailwind into one, we have to throw it in pretty deep here with the headwind in the three because we're not going as fast plus we got the extra down force. Off of four might get sketchy later in the race as you kind of lose the down force. Let's see if I can back up turn one now. Get a little better. A little better run through it and off of two. Backed it up, tenth quicker. Carry that speed into the headwind. Looks like we're even though. Indy is one of those places where the wind is just such a big factor on the hell out of three, apparently. We're going to go a little bit quicker. We're still P3 at the moment, so that's good news. Could it have been quicker? Maybe, but a 53-0. I'll be happy with that. I'm pretty sure fast people, though, are in the .5s. Got point eights out there right now. Let's see if we got Bob out there. What's Bob looking like? Bob is this car today. So 
the Arca West team. Oh, Bob got the ball. Sorry for showing that, Bob. I think that was after his uh, lap. So right now, uh, we're just waiting on a few people. People that could beat us. Well, the four, but I don't think he's going to have time. The eight is definitely not going to have time. So... We've just got two people on track, and I think they've... Nope, 21 hasn't already done a lap. He's getting wobbly down the front stretch. Very weird. So, first lap did not count, apparently. They're on their second lap. Bob, though, up to fifth, so he's going to be starting right behind us. This 21 car splits in between us. He's got 10 seconds to get back to the line here. Oop, he had to lift off to not hit the wall. They make it to the line. They get a lap in. And now it's time to race. So P3. Alrighty. Well... Starting off way better than I thought we would. So, that is good news. There's quite a gap from 6th on back. It starts to really spread out. Oh, that was his uh, time lap, second lap. So, alright. Top two are probably going to check go. out. I'm probably going to just be the cork here at the front. The estimated SOF is but that might be a good news if one and two for the podium. pull away. Because I can not have to race with someone on my nose, which always makes me drive a little bit slower here. Two cars to grid. And I'm never aggressive enough to make the moves. But yeah, we've got a perfect tailwind here. Waiting on the final car to grid. Oh, now it just shifted slightly east. But we'll be going a little quicker into one with a little less downforce. Thankfully, though, we're up here. Should be able to miss the big one that happens in turn one unless someone just comes flying in from the back. Put session best up. We got 20 laps even though it should take less than 20 minutes. 20 laps here just feels like forever. At least to me. I don't like this place in a stock car. Um, I've just never found it fun in a stock car. Open wheel it's fun. It's just the stock car just takes so long to get down the straights and the passing you have to be it's very aggressive like Pocono. And then when you race it in higher up series you're sitting here spending minutes upon minutes under caution But it can provide some fun strategy in the longer races because you can pit and get off pit road without going a lap down. But yeah, in these underpowered Arca cars, it's, it's a little dull and the racing can get fairly single file. But we'll probably be in fourth or fifth place by the back stretch of the first lap. Because I'm probably going to take it too easy into one. Alrighty. 
the flags are blowing on the sands. And they're not popping in since I changed the LOD, but the LOD might be causing me some of my graphical issues that I've been having. Got a little bit of sun popping out for the start of this one, but not going to affect the track temp too much here. Let's just hope we can survive. We're going to do a very late start. Waiting for the restart zone, apparently. Not even up to speed to worry about slowing down for turn one. They wrecked in the back in turn one. Can I keep up at all with these two? Considering they were two tenths quicker on their own. Very doubtful. Apparently I'm going to overdrive the hell out of that and catch them in three. The wind. It survived lap one. Let's back it down a little bit here. Uh-oh, someone didn't back it down back there. They're in the wall. Looking at my mirror rather than what I'm doing. Don't want to cook the tires. Need to be aware of that still. At least it's not like dull overcast and we do have a bit of sun popping through. This is not what I wanted one car being a little bit slower. Not slower than me, but I was hoping he'd pull away so that we weren't getting backed up into the three behind us. But there's a big gap behind, so if we have to Back it down. Bob has survived all of that and is in fifth, so he's having a good run. And he's got almost two seconds. Maybe. Yeah, he does have two seconds behind him. That's good news for him. I go. I know you're going to get mad at me for that, but I have a feeling it's going to be better for us if we let him go and he does burn his stuff up. Or at least make it easier for us. We'll see. I don't think I've ever raced him, so... I don't think we were holding him off anyways, so just get it done quickly. Be able to race my race for the number two car if we finish top five. We'll be good. That five car is just checking out at the moment. I didn't adjust anything, brake bias or anything like that. Probably should have moved the brakes back, but really are only using them a tiny bit in one and three. them that much in three at the moment because of the headwind.
Could I have held off the three for a while? Probably. But it would have been going a lot harder than I am capable of doing. Gotta know your limits. And with his entry speed that he was doing into one, I'm hopeful that that tailwind's gonna catch him out one of these times. Or he just drifts up a bit too much over and over and wears the tires a little bit more. But I can't even pull back up to him, so... Not our concern. Bob's dropping off a bit. Just have to drive one so much different with that tailwind. That is the fun thing about this place is the wind really plays a big role in everything. signs out of the three that he's going to start having issues, so at the moment, looking like fourth place. Oh, he tried to push it pretty hard through the exit of one there. Okay, first sign of weakness there, overdriving that. And then he overdrove two as well. Four has not been as big of an issue as I thought it would be. I think we needed a little more crosswind. to really affect us off the corner. Seven. Just noting the time in case there's a pattern. Yeah, it looks like the three's starting to get too tight. Starting to run higher. Bob 
Bob is being caught by the 12 and the 6. The 12 and the 6 are not catching us. And as expected, the 5 and the 1 are checking out. So, we might have been able to stay ahead of the 3. This is going to be more interesting for the video, hopefully, if we can make a pass. Just got to not move or drive one. We finally backed up the corner a bit there as well. 13's pulled to the infield. We got a hell of a run out of the corner there. He's gonna let us go. He pays the favor. Thank you. Was not expecting that, but glad to see. I was prepared to race him. I mean, we had the run. I think I was gonna be able to dive it to his inside there anyways. Side line, I think. It looked darker, but it could just be because of the overcast. Oh my god. That got tight. Glad he wasn't right on us there. Otherwise, he would have been coming back at us quickly. I don't have a pace car in front of me now, so I'm going to screw up over and over. The one is catching the five, so there may be a race for the lead. hit the wall on uh, corner entry to really screw us over. What has been... Like, I've been doing that so much lately in the Arca car. I don't understand what... It, did it at Charlotte? Doing it here? Clearly I'm trying to open up my corners too much. That's not me. I just need to go in shallow like I do everywhere and be slow from it. Six. I'm going to change this to last lap. We should get a big boost in one from that. Until I overdrive it, getting on the gas too early, thinking it's going to rotate on throttle. And it doesn't. Back things up. Overdriving for no reason. We're not going to catch those guys. Only way we're catching those guys is if they wreck, and we don't want to be close to them if they're going to wreck. So, yeah, back to three up way too much. So, a little bit loose off. Point nine back. Bob's still in fifth. Point three ahead of sixth place having a hell of a run. Five to go. Slowed it down for turn one. Almost hit the wall on the exit. Battle for the lead. Point two apart. Less than point two apart. Pass attempt maybe into one, although the draft's not going to be as strong. More broken 
cars on pit road. They are nose to tail through one and two. set up the pass. a bit off of two there. Looked like he might have tapped the wall a bit or had a moment. Catch me out in the background. Just got done eating. Sad howls. Holy shit. Okay, that was a massive push. I, I won't learn. I won't learn, will I? Oh man, Bob got passed by a couple of people there. Hopefully he's still alive. He is. He's in seven. Final lap, they are still nose to tail. Who's gonna win it? Yeah, it's 0.3 seconds, they're not really nose to tail. I think the five's got it one. Unless he smacks the wall. Yeah, that's too big of a distance. That would have to be a mistake to close up that. Still point three, still no gap. A wall hit or a slide off of four is about the only thing that can do it, but looks like he's got it covered and had it covered from the start. finish third. Three car finishes fourth. And nice clean race up here. Good win to the five. Good racing with the three. The flag. It's over. Just kept each other alive. We could have battled it out. Good but job. Very good job. I think it was over with that straightaway anyways because he got a really bad exit. Uh, 80, 89. We were doing bad things to our right front. Let's see what happened. Because there was a big one in the back. Let's go. Bob gets a seventh. He just fell off a bit there. Okay, well, well, all right. Um, 22, 
Starts turning left on the straightaway. Starts looking three wide in the middle. And then drives through the back of the four, turns hard right, and wrecks three people, including himself. And the four car got into the server late, didn't get his queue lap, and gets punished for it. Come down the back stretch. Little wall grab by the six. That made him lose quite a bit of time on his drive to the front. 18 over driving the corner. Hits the wall. Still overdrive and exit. Keeps it up in the wall though. 22's on pit road. The 11. Nothing there. Let's watch everyone on pit road. The 19 has found himself in the wall. Gets it pulled off of it and then loses control. And hits the inside. 13. Trying to push too hard through that tailwind. Keeps it up in the wall. 22's headed for the wall. Thirteen's in the wall. 18, 13, 18 wall. You gotta be able to see that ahead of time, I think. Like... They've missed the bottom, they're pushing up, they hit the wall, you gotta turn left, you gotta turn left, because you know they're gonna be pulling off the wall, but it's just something you eventually, eventually figure out after it happens one too many times to you. Uh-oh, Bob gets the wall. Twenty-one headed for it. And this tailwind is catching everyone out today. They are not adjusting for it. It's, it's turn one every time. We got turn four here, Bob. Yeah, that wasn't too bad of a scrape. Ooh. Downshift, I wouldn't have expected that to work. One car trying to get there, grabs the wall a bit. And that is it. Maybe? Nope. Yeah. So, there you go. Uh, Tailwind won that one. Well, no, the five won it by kicking everyone's butt. But a tailwind definitely played a massive factor for the rest of the field. We gained 30 I rating, zero incidents, zero incidents for most of the field, and 10 incidents for the 13. So, um, yeah, not too bad, four splits. So, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.